Hello, we are in downtown Toledo getting ready to experience the Arts Commission Art Loop. We're going to check out some galleries, maybe some studios, talk to some people along the way, maybe even buy some art. Let's get ready. I hope you're excited. Well, we've met a new friendly face on the bus here at the Art Loop. Nicola, tell me why you decided to come to the Art Loop today. Well, it's kind of by accident. I grew up in Toledo, Ohio, but I've been on the West Coast for decades, and I came here to see my 94-year-old grandmother. And actually, I am an artist myself, and I did get an art degree out there. And I, wherever I go, I just, you know, go see art walks. And I never heard of the Art Loop until today when I got the peach section, so. Here I am. Well, you never know who you're going to meet here at the Art Loop. We're ready to go meet some more people and check out some more art. First up on the Art Loop stop, Handmade Toledo. Let's go inside and see some cool art. with the owner of Handmade Toledo, Jessica. What makes Handmade Toledo so unique to downtown Toledo? Uh, because I, we're one of the only all handmade shops. So we sell a lot of Toledo local things, um, Ohio themed things that aren't necessarily like a sports team or tied to a school um, and primarily uh, local artists in here and um, everything in the shop is handmade. So I think that's a really cool aspect of it. What can people see when they come to Handmade Toledo? What are some of the best things or best sellers? Uh, we carry a lot of apparel, uh, so like right all behind us, and bath products and cards. So if you need a card for any, of the, any occasion, we totally have you. What are your customers like? Who are the people that you serve here at Handmade Toledo? Uh, people that love Toledo and love the city and love to shop local. A lot of people that grew up here and now live far away and still have love for their home or a lot of people that have loved ones that also live far away and they want to get gifts like to remind them of home. Awesome. Well they've got some awesome stuff here at Handmade Toledo. I've got some loved ones that don't live in Toledo anymore so I'm gonna go buy some stuff for them. Looks like the bus is here. We gotta wrap it up. We'll catch you later. We are back on the bus for the Art Loop and I'm Sarah and I'm here with I'm Sarah. No way! Hi, nice Sarah. to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> so you're volunteering here with the Arts Commission. Yeah. Talk to me just a little bit about why you chose to do that. Um, well, I love the arts. I studied art in college and I wanted to find a way to give back to the community and to be involved in the art scene here and to find out more about what was going on. And I found out there's a lot going on. Next up on the Art Loop, Gathered Glass Blowing Studio. They've got a demonstration going on. They're blowing glass over there. Some really cool stuff. Let's go check it out. Mike, owner, operator, and artist here at Gathered Glass Blowing Studio. Mike, talk to me just a little bit about what Gathered Glass is. So, Gathered Glass is a glass blowing studio. We do a lot of production, workshops. Uh, we also do large scale pieces for corporations around Toledo. Um, but we've been here for five years. We opened up right after we got out of college, and we've been going ever since. Talk to me a little bit about why you chose to be part of the Art Loop. Uh, one, we were asked to do it, and we're a gallery and studio, and we want to be part of the community. So downtown Toledo is uh, up and coming. It's ever since we got here, it's been growing. So we just want to be a part of that and make sure that it keeps going. All right, folks, that's the end of the road here for us on the Art Loop. We had a great time. We met some really cool people, saw some awesome art, and even got to meet some artists. How awesome is that? Remember, the Art Loop happens every third Thursday of the month here in downtown Toledo. We'll see you next time.